We had our green, there were 10 of those, seven red balls, and three blue. I want to do the probability of getting two of the same color. This is going to be without replacement. Without replacement. Okay, two of the same color. That means I actually have three cases. I could get, so the probability of getting, I could get two green or two red or two blue. Those ors means that we want to use the addition principle. This also tells me that I am using cases to make up this theoretical probability. So I really just want to break this down. I've already done some of this work. The probability of two green, I did, plus the probability of two red, I did, plus the probability of two blue. Now I'm going to redo them because um, it's really easy and you can see the pattern here. So I want the probability of green and green, green and green, plus the probability of red and red, plus the probability of blue and blue, right? So let's go ahead and put these together. So if I do green and green, those look like sixes, but they're supposed to be Gs. There are 10 to start out of the 20. I take a green out and I've got nine left out of the 19. Greens are done. Greens are done. Let's go ahead and do the reds next. So to do the reds plus, here comes my second case, there are seven red balls. So I'm going back to the beginning. There are all of them back left. This is a brand new case. So I do have seven out of the entire 20 times. Um, if I draw one red ball, that means that I've got six left when I go back in out of the 19. So there are my red. Plus, let's go ahead and do the two blue now. So I'm going to go back to the full jar. So for my blues, there are three to start with, three out of the 20 um, times, I keep wanting to write a plus, times two out of the 20, two out of the 19, sorry, two out of the 19. I can simplify this a little bit. I can type it in just like this, but I'm a math teacher. I can't help myself. I have the same denominator for everybody, 20 times 19. What I really want to do is the 10 times 9, the 7 times 6, and the 3 times 2. It's going to be a little easier to type into my calculator. Let me move this over here so that we can see. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in just like we see there. So 10 times 9, that was the first case, plus 7 times 6, that was the second case, plus 3 times 2, divided by 20. Oh, I need a parenthesis there. So I want to go divided by parenthesis 20 times 19. If I can get it in there right. Okay, but I'm looking for that pattern 10 times 9, 7 times 6, 3 times 2, perfect over 20 times 19. I know I want a fraction for this, so let's go ahead and do math, convert to fraction, and we end up with 69 over 120. If I wanted that as a decimal instead, over 120, oh, 190. So 69 over 190. And we get, as a decimal, about a 36% chance. But I'm going to go ahead and use the exact value here of 69 over 90. So 69 over 190 is the probability of getting two of the same color.